Good morning, and here we are in a 2019 next-gen Scania P500 8 Tipper. So this is five years old with 313,930 kilometres on it. Um, this was one of the spare vehicles, but a new guy has joined, so he's given it a really good clean-out, and uh, yeah, it looks the part. So I've had this for the last two days, and um, I've got it for um, today and tomorrow. And I mean, the P500, um, it's a terrific engine to have in the truck. Um, I personally would uh, be happy with a 410. Um, I'd like to try a 370 actually, and see how that operates, because um, in my opinion, um, you know, 15, 20 years ago, <clears throat> you had 11 and 12 litre 380s, which were pretty much uh, king of the eight before market. And I'd love to see how they operate compared, because we're uh, seem to be obsessed with growing power all the time and uh, I just think it gives the opportunity for a driver to uh, drive the truck harder but anyway my review of the truck will follow so um, uh, first of all um, luckily with this one we are fitted with an exhaust brake and a retarder so both of those are on um, five stage retarder one two three four five plus the exhaust brake that operates automatically with that superb bit of kit absolutely amazing this will stop this off a cliff at 32 tons so i uh, really enjoy using that um and the i think it's them um, uh in simple terms called the aqueous flywheel but uh, uh what an amazing um uh, thing to include in a truck good selling point when you sell it as well uh this doesn't have the stereo controls but i mean i've heard some drivers complaining about that but um that's just uh um people being picky um you have so much information at hand on the dashboard on this it is superb you can do so many different things that you can change you can change all of your different dashboard displays um i like to keep my digital speed up just because of the nature of this work is that you are driving around um uh, urban streets and round towns and it's good to have it as a, um, a very quick point of reference but yeah the system's very good you can choose your performance mode as you can see what i'm in uh eco and um yeah it's a good vehicle to drive um very responsive 13 litre 500 brake and um all of the torque that comes with that um it's very capable uh the opticruise gearbox is superb now uh, it is an automated manual so um uh, all that comes with that with the um uh, the control and the gear selection is superb um you rarely ever have problems when you're pulling out at roundabouts whereas there are other manufacturers that drivers drive and they call it well i'll tell you they say the daf you've got to get used to the daf wave at roundabouts so um not so much in this uh from what i understand this dashboard is designed by uh, porsche or forward slash volkswagen had a hand in it um that needs to be confirmed and it's difficult to find that sort of information on the internet but i think it's superb and about as good as it gets i always used to like the four series dashboard i love that for storage and i like the wraparound dash but this has just got the cup holders where you need it that's very handy for your phone um, especially if you're using google maps and a sat nav um, you have a nice flat surface here and a spare cup holder for your rubbish your spare cups but yeah it just has plenty of storage this whole area here they've redesigned this a bit better than the old one the um, pr and g series and it's just got all the room you need for everything that you bring with you really like that and again this company spec the cab with the um, space behind and as you can see you get hooks hooks for your jacket good space behind um yeah very impressive i do like it i like it a lot and even though this one is a lower spec dashboard um it still looks good um, I'm a passenger in some of these and we do some driver assessing for this company and a few others and I've been a, um, doing my CPC training on the left hand side of many uh, uh, next gen Scanias and um, uh, it's very comfortable and um, loads of room and I do like that fold out table which this one doesn't have when I'm uh, uh, training drivers. You get loads of headroom in this, I'm six foot five, I have no problems with um, the room I get in it. I've always... Uh, um, like the extra room you get and even in Scania now you get a little locker up there and that's got bobs and stuff but that's handy for a few bits and bobs um, and then some other nice touches this is lovely I know when it first happened driver said well what if it gets wet so and so you know and, and I'm sure Scania would have thought about that and they have done I think it's a lovely touch having this here 
uh, you have all the controls and Scania have done very well with this pioneering the six mirror controls here so you get two on each door Plus you get your proximity mirror and then you get your front proximity mirror, all electric. And another nice touch is extremely quick. Uh, the motors work really fast. You're not sitting there listening for this motor whirring and clicking. Uh, criticisms, not much really. Um, they've done away with the, um, the old style mat. This is now more of a fixed surface. So that hasn't moved around at all. Um, no silly foot brake button down there for the exhaust brake. Um, this handle here, um, again, it, you know, I'm, I'll put it down to my height. That can be a little bit um, uh, of a pain towards the end of the day on my leg, but uh, um, I try and move the seat around to compensate. Um, but otherwise, I think these are these are superb. Um, this has a uh, cracked windscreen on it, which I've defected, and that'll be going in today to get done. I will do some uh, outside checks on the vehicle just to give you an idea of what it's like but I'm going to go in for a coffee another driver over there has just turned up and he is new to the business and he wants to go over a few bits we've got a bit of time to wait before site opens so I'm going to go and buy him a coffee and uh, do a little bit of um, uh, a handover for him on the vehicle anyway I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you all have a good day and there'll be some more um, video to link to this